Now, several suspects will appear in the Ellis Magistrate Court tomorrow on allegations they were part of a group that burnt the University of Fortress Ellis campus sports complex. Last night, students disgruntled about the exam timetables allegedly set halls alight. This was in a bid to halt the start of the exam. Well, let's get the latest now from ENCA's Ronald Masinda, who's on the ground there in the Eastern Cape. Ronald, good afternoon. Welcome to today. Just to, to wrap the day for us regarding the incident at the University of Fort Hare, their initial investigation into this arson attack and vandalism, they say it may have been politically motivated. Yes, indeed, Pratan. Well, that's according to the university uh, following their initial investigation saying that those who are involved are people belonging to political groups within the institution. While some of the 12 suspects that will be appearing in court in Alice tomorrow are people who are not even registered to study at the institution. And that uh, this is probably also not uncommon given that this year there will also be the SRC election. So there are some tense situations uh, that do occur from time to time from these campuses, not only at the University of Fort Hare, uh, but the university is strongly condemning the actions uh, that took place last night, saying that those people must be held accountable and that the students will at least be suspended for now uh, until uh, pending an investigation into the alleged involvement. But the university has been through a myriad of challenges really and this was the last thing that they needed. They say that at least students have been behaving up until this point that uh, the last incident uh, of this nature probably took place around three years ago. But when we talk about the challenges uh, faced by the university, there are still five uh, suspects that are still appearing in court. They are still uh, trying to apply, apply for bail. At least three of them, two have already abandoned bail. And then there's also issues around academic fraud, where even last week we heard how Premier and ANC chairperson in the province, Oscar Mabuyan, is trying to uh, stop the SIU from uh, investigating uh, his alleged involvement. So a lot of things happening around the scenes uh, at the university. But uh, uh, J.P. Ruot is the spokesperson, and he had to say this about this particular incident that took place last night. We have uh, confirmed that uh, the individuals that are arrested are st students with ties to political organizations, uh, student po political organizations at the university, but very importantly, individuals who are actually not students who participated in in the uh, violence uh, yesterday on our campus. So these individuals will be appearing in front of the uh, magist magistrate in Alice uh, tomorrow morning. And Ronald, what about students? What are they saying is the cause of these uh, attacks? I mean, the attack on that sports complex last night. So some of the students disagree. They say that although they could have been unrest uh, fueled by also other issues such as politics. The main issue has really been about uh, the congested timetables. They say that uh, for some they cannot cope under these circumstances. Uh, one was telling us, Pradhan, that uh, on any given day uh, during the exams, he will be forced to write for six hours. That means that they will, he will write a three-hour paper and he will be told to remain at that exam venue to only write another Another three hour paper and uh, those are just some of the complaints there are other complaints uh, uh, leveled by students around uh, the living conditions those who are at res uh, they were showing us pictures uh, of the conditions some are saying that uh, they have to use cardboard as windows because their windows uh, don't have glass they're also saying that uh, sometimes they have to shower in cold water and others don't even have Wi-Fi but the university are saying that they are trying to get to the bottom of everything the university itself saying that even the issue of a congested timetable this was raised to students ages ago and that the students should have used that opportunity to raise their concerns we heard further from what JP Ruud had to say look the most important part is that uh, uh, examination timetables it, it can be hectic and it can put pressure on students but what is very important is that the university did consult way ahead of the examination with our faculties with our students and 
students had an opportunity to come back to us and w with their concerns and we did make adjustments to our examination timetables. So at this moment in time uh, there was consultation and uh, we, we have a very active relationship with our student body. JP Road there speaking on behalf of University of the Forte, ending that update from Ronald Masinda. Now,